Hello, Jay Marshall from NMUSD Ed Tech. Today we're going to look at the Resource Center in Schoology. It's a centralized area where all of your materials are kept, and it's closely tied to your courses and your groups. You can import files, create new resources, and copy or move them into any or all of your courses quickly from here. You can also share resources with your groups and download them from the public resource library. Any course materials, folders, and even entire courses can be copied in your resources for use on a later date. So let's look at what we're talking about here. Hmm. If we look over here in personal, let's start there. This contains the files, course materials, learning objectives, and question banks that you have saved to your resources. You can use this area to create resources as well. Anything saved in my resources, right here, can be copied and transferred into any or all of your courses. Once it's copied into a course, the material can be modified to fit the needs of that specific classroom without altering the original copy. Only you are able to access this area. So you can see here I have different different areas. The, the main ones I want to show you in this video are the home. You can see that these are all on my home. Downloads. These are ones that I've downloaded from the public. And then I made a folder. I made my own collection. And these are specific to me. So that's just a way to organize. And I made the collection by clicking this button right here. So you can make a new collection if you'd like, just for organizational purposes. Let's look at public. The public resources allow educators from all over the globe to share various types of resources for free. So the resources can be files, links, course materials, or even folders full of content shared by other people in the Schoology community. So you can search through the, the huge database for instructional resources, which is pretty cool. You can read comments and see ratings also to see if it's worth using. Um, download the resource into your personal resources, and then you can add them to your courses. You can even share your own. So I'll just do a quick one uh, real fast. You have uh, some filters that you can utilize over here. You can also do the same up top with this search feature. So for now, let me just type in math manipulatives. And here we go. So I found a resource that I think I don't know, maybe I'll look at it. It's got a lot of great ratings. Whoa, 298, five stars. Holy cow, let me check this out. So if I dive into it, I'm in the public resources. I can see all the different comments and ratings. I can open this up and I can decide if I want to use it or not. Oh, this is kind of a, a cool resource. If I click on it, it'll take me to other websites. I've already checked it out. If I'm being honest. Okay, so now let me go back to my public. Let me um, let me type it back in again. So if I want, I can add it. So watch if I click it. I'll do it twice. It says it's added. Right now, it wants to put it in my downloads folder, or I can put it in home or in Marshall 2020 2021. Also, let it go to downloads. Why not? So now if I go back to personal and click on downloads. It's going to be down here. I bet you. Look at that. So you can grab these resources and then you can turn around and send them other places. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at groups. Group resources contain shared resources from all the groups that you belong to. If you're not a member of any groups or you haven't selected your school yet, the, the list of resources will appear empty. So you can access items you share in the resources area of your groups from this area or by navigating to the group itself by going up to groups. So you can see the different group um, groups that I belong to. And here's the different school resources. So if I jump into a group, this fifth grade curriculum group, we can just look there. Look at all these great resources that they are sharing with each other to all members of the group. And last but not least, we have apps. 
it's so this is where you would, you would install and access resource apps right now we just have the two um, make sure that you definitely add the google drive resource app this is a quick overview of the resources area of schoology watch some of our other videos for a deeper dive into the how-to's of schoology resources and have a great day